So one thing that uh, came up in our last episode when Conrad and I were doing the um, kind of assessment of uh, the law firm website, you can check that out. Uh, we'll put a link in the show notes, is understanding how your firm shows up in local search. And today we wanted to dive into one of the tools that we use. We, we mentioned it in the last episode too. We want to take a, a little bit deeper dive, but Conrad, what are some of the major issues you see with respect to law firms, their agencies and reporting, and local search. I love when Guy sets me up with the, the this isn't even slow pitch baseball. This is like T ball. So we see this all the time, and you hear this all the time. And it is agencies or cold calls talking about how we can get you to rank number one. Rank number one, the Google local pack, or not even the Google local pack. We're going to get you to rank number one, guaranteed. And what they really mean by that, and you can stand on that statement, it's a useless statement, but you can stand on that statement, is that if I am standing in your lobby, I will make sure that you rank number one for, it might even be your own business name, right? That's can be as bad as you can get. But it's more typically like I'm looking for a divorce lawyer Atlanta and I'm in Divorce law firm Atlanta in their lobby, and I'm doing a query and I'm ranking number one. Proximity is so very, very important um, for local search that you could choose to be able to rank number one from almost any office. Now, interestingly, this doesn't always happen. And I've certainly, and Guy, I'm sure you've seen this as well. It doesn't necessarily mean that just because you have an office, you're going to rank number one in that office. So even getting to ranking number one in that office, if you're not doing things correctly, we looked at a at a, a prospect just the other day who has an office and they they were ranking number 20 from their own office. And so those, these problems can happen, but it's pretty easy to fix these problems. We actually fixed that uh, during the pitch we got in real time and figured out why they were doing so poorly in ranking. And it, it's an easy fix. Was it miscategorization by chance? No, it wasn't. Interestingly, we were trying to figure it out and they're like, oh, well, we just, you know, we just, we, our office used to be just across the street and, uh, and they hadn't updated their address. Right. And so Google didn't know what it was. And so they couldn't understand because it was such a, sh a small geographic move, why it was a problem. And the problem gets into the foundations of how local search works, but to come back to my initial point, it's very easy for agencies to get you to rank number one from their office. And so they often make that promise. What they don't take into account, Guy, and where we're going with this, is that if you move 400 yards away from your office, you may disappear off the map, off the digital map entirely. And so the tool that we like to use when looking at proximity related queries, which is local search, is local Falcon. So we thought, and in fact, um, one of our dear LinkedIn audience members uh, requested that we do a review of this site. And so we're not going to do a review of this site, but we thought, hey, let's do a review of their local pack visibility. So this is a scan report for the query divorce lawyer. Uh, and I apologize if I'm mispronouncing the name, but Hemet Law Group in Seattle. It's a family law firm. And... A uh, couple of things about Local Falcon that I think are cool and kind of you can feel free to interrupt and chime in at any time. Uh, but one, you get to see, you get to set a grid size. So how big of a, an area, how big of a mile radius do you want to look at uh, from the business's location? And then it drops these little pins uh, within that uh, radius and you can pick how many credits you want to use to get to or how many different data points you want. But so in this case, I did a 20 by 21 grid with a five mile radius. Now, a couple of things about local Falcon. One, uh, thing then this is for any, for the, all of the local Falcon product people that are listening, I wish they would make it easier to turn, uh, pins off because, you know, Seattle, there's a lot of water around Seattle. Well, I don't care how I'm ranking in the water. So I, if you, folks that are looking at this, uh, on YouTube, you can see that we uh, I've adjusted it so that there's you know these chunks cut out for where the water is. But ultimately, what we're looking at here is a map grid of Hemet Law Group's visibility its rankings in the local pack uh, for the term divorce lawyer. And you know it's extremely valuable to see like 
you know, they're actually doing pretty good. And and in fact, the three there's three local Falcon metrics that we tend to look at. Conrad, do you want to talk about those? So at the risk of saying this out loud, there's ARP, ATARP, and Solve. Okay. And so ARP is basically the average ranking position, um, which is fairly easy to understand what it means. But ATARP, ATRP, I'm calling it ATARP. I don't know if anyone calls it that um, or we've just coined it. But uh, ATRP basically is the average total rank position, which takes into account all those positions in which your firm doesn't rank at all. It doesn't show up at all. Right. And so that is always worse than your average ranking position, because if you are showing up, there's actually a data point. Um, and finally, and I, and I like this. And, and by the way, these these metrics are really helpful to look at over time in a vacuum looking at it at, at today. It doesn't matter. But this is a really good way. Overall, if you want to have a KPI for your local performance, this is a really good one. The next one is um, search of local voice, which is the percentage of time that you're showing up in the top three. And the reason that search of local voice is so relevant is because if you're not showing up in the top three, you're not showing up, right? And so all of these numbers are, are I, I like I like search of local voice personally as something to look at, as, as something to track over time. The key here, and this is super tactical, uh, roll up your sleeves on this, is you need to make sure that you're using the same grid parameters when you are looking at these improvements over time, which is blindingly obvious and yet frequently done poorly or done by a different agency where they'll, they'll, they'll come in and they'll show you how poorly you're doing on one of these metrics. And then they'll take that 20 mile radius and they'll drop it down to two miles and tell you how they've made these, these massive improvements, which is disgusting. The other uh, report that you can look at is a competitor report ah. and the com- the competitor report's really cool because now you can actually see, uh, and I have it sorted by a share of local voice, uh, which Conrad mentions. Sh- you know, sh- it's, you can look at these grids across competition and see uh, who your actual local pack competitors are, which are often, you know, we, when we talk to firms, they'll say, oh, you know, the biggest player in town is so and so, or my biggest competitor is, you know, this, it's a billboard lawyer, a TV lawyer. And it's a totally different set of competitors. Uh, in regular traditional search, and then an, another set of competitors when you get into the local pack. And so I think this is a great tool for looking, doing competitive analysis. And another thing that I really like about it, and I'm going to click on this compare locations button, but you can basically take like, hey, you can take your own, the, the firm you did the report for and compare it to one of your competitors. And you'll get a side-by-side breakdown um, with all the data that Local Falcon has. So you can see things like, uh, you know how many review the review comparison. It shows URLs, phone numbers, uh, the coordinates. It shows all of the uh, local Falcon metrics, um, and so that gives you a really good like, hey, uh, what what's this firm doing that uh, I might not be doing? Am I, are they using categories that I'm not using? You know, how are, are my reviews competitive? So I, I really like it for that purpose. What else do you like to do with local Falcon, Conrad? One of the things that I like to do is when you're looking at a specific building, right? This is an address. I, I, I'm looking at moving into, you know, Northern Cleveland, and we've got these four different offices that we're thinking about doing. You can, just because it's not a law firm doesn't mean you can't use that address. So find find the business that currently is or was in that office. Let's say it's Mary's, you know, florist, and you can do a query for Mary's florist, but look for car accident lawyer, right? And you're 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 really asking local Falcon to show whether or not Mary's florist works for car accident lawyer. But what you really get out of that data is from that location of her current of Mary's florist office, what does the competitive set look like? Right. And so it's a way to evaluate individual offices using local Falcon data. And I think people get tripped up because it's like, oh, well, there's there's not a law firm in there. There's not a, I, I don't know, there's not a competitor there for me to look at. What you really want to isolate down is an individual building and how that performs for the queries for which you want to be found. And that I've found to be extremely helpful um, as a workaround because this is really centered. The orientation around this is how are you performing relative to competitors? Well, if, if there's no one in that office, is that a good office or not? This is a good way to do that. It's simplistic, but it works. 
another thing to be mindful of when you're using local Falcon is firms that, and I think Conrad might have some more insight on this when he does the, um, you know, his assessment in terms of like, do you need another office location? If you're just looking at the scan report or a competitor report, it might not be obvious to you that the same firm has multiple locations. And so really what you need to do for that is create these, one of these locations reports so that you've got, you're representing all of the different firms. And even for your own uh, intelligence on your own visibility, if you have multiple office locations, yeah, um, you know, in a com- in competitive environment, different locations are going to rank. And so to see them all on a map, you know, you might look at one of these maps and say, well, it's weird. Why am I only, you know, ranking in the upper left-hand corner? Or why am I only ranking in the, you know, southeast corner? It might be because you have another location that's outranking you uh, somewhere else. And so you really want to make sure that you're taking that into consideration both for your own firm as well as competitive reports or else you're not going to, you're going to make a false assumption about the visibility. And I'll, before we hit the break, I want to make one more kind of 101 concept around Local Falcon. This is based around proximity. And proximity is very different by geography. Downtown Chicago, proximity from a pure, what does proximity mean in terms of, of, of distance? Downtown Chicago looks very different than Los Angeles, for example, um, or, or somewhere that's much more rural. So the proximity is heavily defined by the, the, the competitive set and how concentrated the competitive set is. So you need to think about what your, um, what, what your geography looks like and, and map and, and how close are competitors. If there's 27 competitors clustered around a downtown, the proximity is going to look, is going to be much more narrow and, and, and shorter than if you were in a very large spread out city, for example, like, like Atlanta, um, and I think you need to think about that when you are looking to set your grid size. Don't set your grid size. Let me put it this differently. Don't set your grid size to cover all of all of Seattle or or all of Atlanta, right? Um, because that's not Atlanta is actually a great example because it is such a, a spread out distributed city. Your you, the Google proximity flag is going to decrease on different radiuses and you need to start to understand what that looks like for your individual market, if that makes sense. All right, so that's how we use Local Falcon to see how a firm stacks up in local search results. But what if you're not sure if you've reached your full visibility in your current office location? In the rest of this episode, we help you determine whether you should expand to a new office location. And if so, give you the strategy to choose where to open up your next location in your local market. Check out the link below that's pinned in the comment to catch this discussion, plus all of our latest legal marketing news. Also, if you found this episode helpful, you can watch our latest episode where we tear down a PI firm website here.